The U.S. Supreme Court ended its term today with a landmark decision on presidential immunity. The decision has a direct impact on former President Trump's current legal problems. Here's more from outside the Supreme Court. In a 6-3 opinion, the Supreme Court ruled Monday that former presidents have absolute immunity from prosecution for official acts related to their court constitutional powers. But the court said there is no immunity for unofficial acts and gave some guidance on how lower courts can draw that line. For those things that are just within the president's ambit, absolute immunity. For official acts in general, at least presumptive immunity. For unofficial acts, no immunity. Former President Donald Trump has repeatedly argued that he had absolute immunity. You have to give a president full and total immunity. In the scathing dissent, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote about the potential dangers of this decision on U.S. democracy. The ruling affects special counsel Jack Smith's prosecution of Trump for election interference for his role in the January 6 assault on the U.S. Capitol. The case now goes back to the lower court which you will have to look at what acts are official and what are unofficial. There is an enormous amount of legal work that is now going to have to unfold over the next several months. By waiting until July to issue their ruling, the justices have severely reduced the likelihood of Trump standing trial before the November election. Nidia Cavazos, CBS News, the Supreme 